Greetings everybody, Solar Flower here, coming at you with episode 15M, or week 6 of my flowering update for my main outdoor run here on YouTube. So things are going alright. The aphids really didn't make too much of an impact to the garden. These plants in the front, these are the ones that got affected the worst by the aphids. And then I found signs of them on this plant, well pretty much all these plants here, so just these front ten that are the ones that uh, got affected the worst uh, by the brood aphids but some made it out a lot better than others like this one looks good not too much fading on the leaves or anything like that overall looking pretty good pretty good so I didn't blow it on that plant but there's a few with good fading like this is fading you can just tell but still clothes are nice and dense they're stacking very well so, yeah, how they look, definitely filling out. So, um, my game plan is that in a week I will be able to have the option to cut these down. At least the uh, long, uh, the eight week strains and nine week strains. Because now I'm finishing up week six today. And uh, I might hold on to them and grow them out a little more. See how they see how they do. Just gonna take it day by day because you can see down here I stripped some of this foliage down and you can see like right here how white fuzz shit that's powdery mildew. So anything like down here is gonna have to be washed. So yeah. This is what it is. And this is the plant most affected by the aphids. So you can see it has nice fade going on. Maybe it was like in week or uh, almost week two of flush but it's just uh, chlorosis from the leaves not being able to get the nutrients they want. But still, frosty buds. Nice stacking. And this is one of the harder hit plants as well but this guy really pushed through and just just stuck it to those aphids so really nice. And I'm still making my sticky barriers like I normally do. See these things down here. But I was supposed to make a new set for all these 10 plants today, but I think I'll just be able to do just two today. And then uh, I'll do them tomorrow because I've been really busy. But for the past three, four days, I didn't even put these barriers on. I just let them set out in the 75, 76 degree sun without these barriers. The buckets did get warm, you know, they probably got about 100 degrees just from sitting there in the sun, but. Uh, but they did okay. I don't know if I'd associate that with this fading. I think that's more or less just the plants getting fed straight water. But when I fed them, I didn't do my normal irrigation method of weighing them out before and after. So uh, a few of them did get overwatered, but it wasn't any more than two days of overwatering. So that's when I started to weigh them out before irrigation. So I only screwed up on two or three plants this week. It was uh, this plant, it was a 16.6. When I watered it to a 17.6, should have been a 15.9. And the reason was because I screwed up this row with this row on my whiteboard. And then like that plant and this plant kind of got hit, but not too bad because they're at 16.2. And they got hit to 17.6, so. Since they're like in their last week of flush, it's not really a huge deal but yeah overall they're doing good stacking very well very, very nicely so let's see if I got a lighter here yes yeah, so it kind of gives you a comparison or right, this one's a good one I had to strip a lot of these leaves off in the middle but yeah it's about as wide as a zippo maybe a little long or I mean a big but yeah, maybe a little wider. Definitely stacking. So it's like four days, and these this middle row is going down. So I'm really happy. Probably gonna have to wash the lower buds, but nothing too big. The tops I should be able to just hang. But yeah, this one's filling out nice. One of the luckier ones. 
this one. Yeah. Here's Blue Dream over here. It's starting to feel out really nice. comparison for you guys. That's about a little wider than the lighter. Yeah, not too bad. So let's see, this plant's going down in about a week. So um, next week's going to be the last update for this one and this one, the blackjack. Might switch to get at this plant, but Fortunately, I was able to pick off the affected leaves fast enough. So, uh, the only thing that's really taking a hold in this garden right now, in particular, is powdery mildew. Aphids are in check. Mites, more or less, in check. They're not spreading to the plants. They're going to be just pushed uh, until sometime around the 10th or 11th of September. So, yeah. Overall, not too bad. Those are the dogs. Bombing the movie, but oh well, what can you do? But yeah, I'm impressed with the stacking, it's not too bad. So, yeah, just been busy trying to keep these girls uh, happy through that cold spell and taking off all the powdery mildew I can find. Now it's not, I oh, still have to look a little bit, but <clears throat> some plants are affected worse than others. Like this one, you can see all these buds are just stripped. It's because all the leaves around here were affected with powdery mildew. Like you can even see some of the powdery mildew right there. So it hasn't crept up on the upper parts, but I'm keeping a sharp eye on it, as usual. But, um, yeah, I guess I don't have a whole lot to complain about. I'm really happy I didn't overwater them too bad. This is sometime this week, and right after I made the update on Sunday, I was really fucking frustrated by this cold weather. I'm like, fuck it, I'll just chill at my desk and water these things with a goddamn hose until I'm ready for the weather to get warmer. And I did okay. I think I overwatered probably five of them. You could see this one got a little damage from an inchworm, but it'll still pull through. So yeah, I mean, these little guys are really kicking ass. I think this is sour diesel, just because it has that same structure as this sour diesel does. So it's nice, big, fat colas. monstrous so I know it's probably the phenotype why it's not filling out like the sour diesels with the platinum OGs they're just so dense it's like <laughs> so yeah just, I think there's a little more than meets the eye to these platinum OGs but they're doing good Really starting to frost up, really nice. But uh, I started my old school watering again today where I weigh it out before and after each irrigation. Now that the temperatures are picking up, um, it really kind of makes me more motivated to do that instead of being a lazy ass grabbing the hose, weighing each plant out before irrigation and just guessing. Like when it's at 15.9 pounds, I just spray it four times on each side, like one, two, three, four and go around one two three four just like one of those little sprayers just lightly touching down the things so I don't destroy roots with the water pressure and they did good they did good this blackjack's filling out like a beast it always does this every year that's why I kept this phenotype no powdery mildew on this plant still and no powdery mildew on the blue dream still no signs of mites on this plant this plant is pretty much perfectly clean other than the fact that I might have watered it a little too heavy four or five days ago it's not like any of these got underwatered. it's just some of them got too, too much water so they just grabbed the hose and went from plant to plant 
Unless those did get way wet like that, then I wouldn't water it, obviously. Like, I wasn't trying to hurt the plants. It's just I was trying to relax a little bit because uh, when it was so cold, the uh, plants had to stay inside all morning, like till like 10 o'clock or some crap, 11 o'clock. Then when they finally got out here because it was like 60 Fahrenheit, they needed water really bad, like all of them. So I just kind of winged it for a couple days. But if you're sloppy with your watering for three, four days, it don't make a difference really. And also they're getting fed straight water. They're not being fed nutrients. Had it been full strength nutrients, I could have put these plants in a shock. So yeah, not bad. Doing it sideway action. The only thing that's holding it is this wire right here. But they're all doing good. You know, I can't really complain about these guys too much. So, definitely like to see the good progress. A little bit of hair on this guy. There we go dog hairs but yeah they're doing good and the really good news is the next two weeks are going to be warm so it's going to be right up these platinum OG's alleys for pushing them hard and getting these nugs to uh, fill out a little more looks like I got a little bit of an inch warm problem there I'm going to check out that sucks oh well Inchworms haven't been too bad. Just a little attack here and there. Probably like four or five inchworms. But overall, they've been really cooperative this year. So yeah. That's about it. So I'll just do one more tour through the garden. And kind of do this live this time. Instead of having my headset. Right, for week, end of week six, I'm not too not too uh, disappointed. They're definitely doing their job. So just gonna keep feeding them and uh, see these are on day 10 I think of flush right now and then these guys are on day 7 the uh, rest of the other garden and uh, I'm just going to uh, maybe push them one more week and see if they can go through three weeks of flush. This guy's gonna go too. And uh, by one week, and like I said, same with this, but the other ones I want to push harder. But yeah, it's gonna kind of make this a little bit of a lengthy upload because this is also gonna be the um, best the garden's gonna look this year. Because the next update, let's see if I can go around here. All five of these this one, this one, this one, this one. And that one are going down. Just five days max. So, yep. I really appreciate the support. Up to 119 subscribers now. So that's cool. Slowly growing. Slowly getting there. But let's see, which plant was I thinking? Like this probably is the, the runt. I would say the platinum OGs. This doesn't really have that development. It's like more hairs and less calyxes. Just, uh, I don't know. But it'll still make good, good head smoke. I don't know what really did it. I think it was probably the cloning process. And it just uh, had a weaker system than, let's say, uh, this plant over here. Because buds on that plant should be like this. They should be nice and nice and filled but it's okay bound to have a gimp in the garden but uh yeah that's it but uh if you have any questions feel free to let me know for sure i'll get back to them accordingly i want to do some shout outs and show you guys water before i let you all go but that's where we are this is the biggest the garden's gonna look this year. Oh heck, why not just go through one more? Look. Here's the neighbor's dog bombing the film. Uh, 
I was going to try to get this update in earlier, guys, but, uh, yeah, the plants needed attention. Since I really haven't been super, super uh, exact watering them, I really needed to focus on them more today and make sure they're as good as they're going to get. You got to put your best foot forward, so trying to make these plants look as presentable as they can. I think it was a good idea that I put these things in flush just because I don't want powder mildew to be an issue. That's a good shot. Uh, yeah, let me show you to the uh, truck over here. This is what they look like right now. So, like, let's see. Those two on the corner. Uh, way over there. Oh, the camera can't pick it up. Uh, they didn't get water yet. And then there's one third row right in the middle. And one right here. So, um, or no, second row. So... This one didn't get watered yet because I overwired this yesterday. But so far, it did a good job um, rebounding. It was at 5.8 when I watered it today. <clears throat> and then this one is at 16.5. It's just on normal watering schedule. It's just a little off with the other plants. And then these guys just don't drink as fast as the others because they had the most advanced root aphid damage. But they still look okay. Surprised how well this is filling out considering the damage I had to deal with. But anyway, I'm going to do a few shout outs before I let you guys go. We're getting there. One more week and a bunch of those plants are going to be much different. So let's see here. <clears throat> Got my little cheat sheet here. Um, E-Money, the Grow Savage. Uh, thank you for saying great job. Really appreciate that, man. Uh, always nice to get great support um, when people are telling me good things about the garden. So, yeah. For sure, Nerdsy. Uh, said it's been hot where you've been living in Southern California. Yeah, I hear you, man. Uh, it's been uh, a little chilly here, but now it's going to finally warm up. So, like, the temperature right now is 70 degrees. And, like, I don't know. Five days ago, it'd be 60, in the low 60s, so it's definitely been warming up, which I'm happy about. These girls didn't take it too hard. So, uh, Pharmacy Med 420, um, he said good idea on raising temperature. Uh, yeah, for sure. It helps uh, curb the, the PM in the garden. So it's like, yeah, I showed you this one right down here where I stripped those guys. And then what's another problem plan? Uh, uh, yeah, it's only certain ones. But that one in particular has has the good case of the PM. It hasn't worked its way up yet, but I'm, I'm definitely gonna watch out. It's like you can see right there, that's a little PM. That's what it is. Uh, and then uh, he said I'd be surprised how plants perform in colder weather. Yeah, they did actually pretty good in colder weather. I think I might push them too hard when I got up to 77 without putting these root barriers on. Might do a little more harm than good, but I think it was it was good enough. I don't think they're going to be too much affected. Like, if it was really bad, you would see uh, this leaf had much lighter green in the middle instead of just this even faded green. And it would affect the big plants, like... The blue dream would have the worst damage on every leaf. But, yep. Let's see what we got here. Um, and then, uh, CEO or Colorado Home Grower, uh, thank you for your comments saying the colas are filling in. Much appreciated. Yeah, I really, I'm impressed by, uh, 
this blue AGK Fino too. So I got hitting the, the ball right out of the park. So I'm not keeping this strain just because, like I said, it reminds me of sour diesel. But I'm really happy that wasn't wasn't anything like a train wreck ready to happen. So uh, BHO Joe says he loves the garden. Appreciate that, man. Much obliged. Uh, yeah, sometimes it can be a little love a hate relationship with me in the garden, but normally it's more love than hate. It's just any any grower has a bad day. But much appreciation for the the support, BHO Joe. And then uh, Emerald Coast 420. He asked me if I ever heard of Actinovate or Dr. Zymes for an IPM or Integrated Pest Management System. Heard Dr. Zymes, but not Actinovate. But I will definitely do some research into those sprays uh, if I decide to do another run. But with that, guys, I'm probably gonna let you go. It's just a little bit of a long update today. But just savoring the moment, I suppose. But if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. And I will get back to them as soon as I can. Alright guys. I will see you in next week's update. Oh, and I'll also do a final harvest results for um, these five plants after they get um, processed. So, yep. Alright guys. Talk to you in the next update. Peace.